Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, we like what you see or you like what you hear, click the thumbs up. If you don't, click the thumbs down. And if you want other people to know about this channel, you can subscribe and you can share. So, um, yes, yeah, so basically I wanted to talk about this news release that came out today. Um, Robert Montague, he's the Minister of Mining and Transport or Transport and Mining in Jamaica. And he's concerned because there's been 300 fatalities on the roads since the beginning of the month, since the beginning of the year, and thousands of casualties. So he's putting out this new workshop, international workshop, that's supposed to help drivers. But when I was in Jamaica, I mean, I thought the drivers were quite skillful. I think the problem is, is that you have some massive articulated lorries on some narrow streets. And if they're going fast, and then the roads are very wiry, and, you know, like if you're going from Montego Bay to, say, Westmoreland, for example, or to Falmouth, or that kind of area, then the roads are quite narrow. And even though the roads have been renewed, unless you drive right against the edge, you can have a head-on collision. And what sometimes happens, I mean, we even saw um, drivers, they try to overtake trucks or they take overtake cars and they really take a risk and they tend to do that on a bend. So while a lot of them are sensible and they do kind of wait until the road is quite clear ahead, you still, I still saw quite a few who took a risk and managed just to swerve in just in time before a car's coming down. Thing is, we don't have 20 miles an hour and 30 miles an hour, yeah, in um, America, or not America, on the Jamaican roads. And on those narrow roads, they drive them like they're driving on the motorway, really. And so I can understand why there are so many casualties. Actually, I'm surprised there are not more. I think from what I saw, I think the drivers are pretty skillful. And I'm just wondering that those who do have accidents, whether or not they have a driving license, whether or not they're young and reckless, whether or not they've been drinking or under the influence of some other drug, you know, because... By and large, I was quite surprised, considering when I went there, I'd say about seven or eight years ago, I was petrified um, being in a car, driving on Jamaica roads. This time, I wasn't petrified at all. I wasn't scared. And even though I saw the cars overtaking and going in and out, I wasn't frightened by the journey. So, I and they've got lots of signs, you know, showing um, skeletons and you know, just things that put you off and you don't want to race to death, those kind of things. You want to reach to your destination alive. Don't drink and drive. You know, a lot of um, posters to deter people or to at least catch people so that they don't drive recklessly on the roads. So I just wanted to remind people just to take care when they're driving if they can drive as far on the edge of the side of the road that they're on as possible i think that will reduce accidents i think trying to monopolize a whole road especially when the roads are narrow it's not a good idea so yeah that's all i've got to say really bye bye